Hi guys, it's Richard Labs. My name is Fro, and today we're going to talk about how do we analyze Solana projects? What are we looking for? What we love? What is green flags? What is huge green flags? What is red flags? What is huge red flags? And when you need just run away from the project, and when you need just to catch it and hold hard as you can. But before this video starts, I'd look, I'd, I would like to ask you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will really help me a lot, none in the future. And if you subscribe, you're just sure that you won't miss any cool, interesting upcoming projects. Let's go. First of all, of course, look at the Twitter and at the visual of collection, but visual is something that we not analyze just if you love it with all your heart and you think it's gonna scar okay, you can take a look at it, but this is not the main point. First of all, we are looking at the Twitter and we are looking at the audience, how many retweets, how many likes do we have? And what is more important, if we have some retweets from huge bloggers, from famous people, from influencers, this is like a huge green flag, so uh, cool example is Astros, they got a really huge audience, now they got 27k, uh, I don't know, um, when they were minting they were about 10k or something like that, but what is more important, they were supported by Shaquille O'Neal, he's got 15 million followers and they support by Snoop Dogg, mm. He's got a 20 million followers. This is just a huge numbers. If you scroll down a bit, you can check out the previous post from Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, so, for example, you're starting to analyze collection. You're looking for something, and, you, and then you just see a post from Shaquille O'Neal or a tweet or something like that. You just understand that you need to get in this collection because the hype will be huge. Uh, there, a lot of audience will come here because of him. And uh, yeah, these two guys guys he's got 20 million he's got 15 million and for example like we don't know about this collection yet we missed the mint we missed the whitelist yeah so now uh, they were minting like for two soul and they uh, then their price were like four soul 3.5 soul and then we see we check we check in their twitter again scrolling down a bit and we see this post uh, see these guys again I, I think i just don't need to say anything when you see numbers like that you just go and buy it out even if the floor price is doubled even if it was two and now it's four or 3.5 even this is just a gift for you because now as we all know the floor for them is seven seven point five and eight so it's easy you can easily double your money even if you missed the mint and even if you missed the whitelist and if you just don't know about whitelist and check out for their sale or you think do i need to get whitelisted in this collection or, or do i need to mint it again you just see this post and you understand that you have to mint it this is just a huge huge green flag the next really important thing when you analyzing any Solana project is their website. If they don't have it, it's okay. But if they have, it must be really clear, really simple. I think perfect example is Diamond Town Hands. Even uh, hats, even if now they just downgraded a bit, if the price for now is kind of low, but everyone could mint it for one soul and then sell it for two soul. Even if it's a common character, if it's a rare, legendary, or epic, you can sell it much more uh, much more higher much more expensive than uh, price for a mint so yeah we just check it out their website and everything here is kind of comfortable for us we understand what is where like where is plan where is team where is fuck you there is not so much information for us there is not so much information we can't use so it must be kind of like if you scroll it down a bit and in just like reading it for five minutes ten minutes and you just understand what the project will be about and of course any website should have their roadmap uh, and here i just love how they designing it so it's what's completed what's working on what's planned and what's ideas so it was kind of obvious for me that they will give me some profit just because of their just amazing looking website so keep an eye on the websites for sure the next thing is any project that you want to get in the like green flag that you want to see in any project is its 
conception, its idea, what is all about. So, for example, Bong Hats, uh, as I said, like a few videos before, they got the free merch for holders. Uh, there will be a profits from casino sharing with all holders. There will be an evolution, differential revolution system. So you can it cuts the supply in Bong Hat, and you can get another Bong Hat from yours too. Uh, you got revenue share from the online store. You get revenue share from the retail products cbd oil vape products tobacco blends and you get access to the to their events uh parties and and things like that so you just hold one nft and you got so much opportunities how can you earn so much cool things such as merch and uh, exclusive events uh, you got the, some money and you got uh, kind of evolution how you make your nft even more expensive and kind of different looking for example so this is what you want to see in any project of course it can be not something like that but there must be something kind of metaverse kind of game platform project or something like that uh it not it must not just be like a cartoon uh jpeg uh, or just photo something uh this is not how it works like uh it's not all about the art we all talking about how we can use this nft in a future and at least what you want to see is staking but what is okay like what is more you want to see even is metaverse game platform or things like that casino i don't know any ideas but just something some conception and something interesting of course the next really important thing so check out their twitter uh might be better for you check out their twitter then check their discord and just then check out their website Really important thing in here, and I believe one of the most important is number of reactions in their messages. So you check out the announcements, minor announcements, maybe about the project, maybe sneak peek, but the most important is announcements and you check out how many reactions are in here here because reactions is live audience this is people are clicking in something just i don't know having a good time or something like that uh, share their emotions or something like that i don't know but this is like the live audience which is clicking something bots does not do it. people are not taking a whitelist for this uh, reactions this is just the people who are waiting drop for interesting this project who will mint or who mint it already uh, who will hold and stuff like that so check uh, make sure you've checked out number of reactions here we have just like perfect so here we have like 400 300 200 170 this is like really a lot of reactions and by analyzing it we just understand the drop must be good but this is of course not the only factor and another thing that you can use in your analyze you can just check out the minting so you go into the minting into the mint links i was told about this uh, nfts before one of my previous videos you can check it out as well if you don't understand what is all about so you just go into the mint links and you check out the reactions in here this is not like kind of something you're just watching that oh my god uh, it's green in here i will go in there but probably uh, most likely if there are a lot of green reactions uh, a lot of uh, those like that it means that it must be a really really cool project and the opposite if you have a lot of red in here this is kind of red flag you don't want to mint something like that for sure Another important thing is it a first drop of this collection and do they have any collections before because if it's a huge metaverse if they got if already got their own audience and a lot of holders and something like that and they just creating something big and this is like their second or third drop most likely it will be it will bring you some profits because for example in here we see like 15 soul uh floor in here 12 soul uh floor in here and they just and they saying we'll dropping another collection a few days before and the mint price is like 2 or 1.8 or something like that and you just it's super obvious for you that there will be a huge profit in there so you go in there and the floor price for here is 0 and 6 uh point 2 so it's just like plus for soul from one mint and uh what 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 else what else uh 
yeah what else you could just buy it for like 4.3 i believe without like whitelist without minting and uh, it's just obvious for you that if there was a two really famous uh really really famous really successful collections before then the third collection most probably will be successful too because they got their own idea they got their website they got a lot of audience in twitter they got a lot of audience in discord and all other stuff like that this is really really simple Another good example in here is collection best buds. They say that we are announcing this was just recently. We're announcing our second collection is it will be kind of female best buds version. You can breed it with these NFTs. And we know this is a huge project with a huge audience. They got a lot of reaction discord. They got inter interesting website. They got like their own staking or their own game and they got their own features. And the mean price for whitelist was 1.6 and for public was 4. 4.2 I believe and you can say that uh, 4.2 is kind of expensive for any mint and will they grow and will I get my money from it and I would say for you yes you will because now floor for them is 9 uh, so you could mint for 4.2 and you can even out buy it for 6 2 or 5.5 at the start uh, when min just ended and it was an easy profit as well so again when you see another really famous famous really expensive collection with huge audience and their own idea and conception most likely like 90 percent that second drop will be profitable as well and at least you won't lose your money Another thing that you can check out is on the website called the Famous Fox Federation. This is the website where everyone can buy a whitelist token for any Solana collection. No, not any, but for Solana collections that are dropping their tokens uh, with whitelist for all whitelisted people. So you just go into the minting app. Uh, you just go into the link on the drop that you're waiting for. You On the top there will be a token token the address of the token so you copy it you insert it in here and you just look look uh how much does this uh, this token cost if it costs really low price for example 0.001 this means that no one's want to mint it on whale project is probably trash and the price will go down really hard right after the mint uh you can't like a pro um, you can analyze you can predict the future price only by a uh, only by a price of whitelist token but you understand that right after the mint they will go out they will go down for sure and if the token price is really really expensive or there is no token uh, whitelist at all are selling this is a really really good sign a huge green flag this means that people are holding and they want to mint it on a whitelist so price most probably will go up because people will sell it only for a high price or they won't sell at all you can say all right man but what's about the project tangent they got the really really famous collection the first one they got their metaverse this bulls is cost about 15 soul and now they're dropping their another metaverse their another collection at the mean price and there was 3.8 and they got their website the website looking cool they got a lot of audience they got the previous famous um really really famous collection uh, that everyone's been buying with high volume with high floor price why their second collection is not going up so everything you've told us is a bullshit no guys it's not because there is another there is a last thing that you won't look for in any project and any nfts this calls the artist royalties because uh if they got more than 10 percent this is not most likely that people would buy it because this is kind of high for everyone and in here 17 percent is just too much so for us like if you buy this for four soul to like even not um just to not lose our money we have to sell it for about 4.7 just to not lose for Ama and for just a little profit we must sell it for 4.8 this is kind of too much I believe and this is nearly 20 percent uh, I don't know this is too much and this is the only reason I haven't buy them yet I haven't bought both them yet so yeah I don't know if you see uh, uh, artist royalties more than 10 percent this is kind of red flag and this is kind of huge red flag because this is harder for you to flip it with profit and this is kind of too much and 
and maybe artists are not even thinking about the project metaverse and other things they're only thinking about their own money i hope you like this video guys i hope it was useful for you now you know now you understand how to analyze solana collections what are you looking for what is green flags what is red flags when you just want to run away from it and when you just want to get in and hold it as hard as you can subscribe to my youtube channel guys hit the like button there is a lot a lot of interesting are coming up these days see ya